This is the story of Norman, an innocuous green pool noodle that found his way into the hearts of the Riveters in 2015. Norman's life started like any other pool noodle at the Guangzhou Creational Accessories Company. On his manufacturing day, the process was working beautifully, until a wheel stuck suddenly, leaving slack in the noodle production line. Because Norman was still hot, this momentary slack left him mildly deformed, with a slight camber to his foam core. This was to be an important characteristic in Norman's life. Quality control didn't catch this imperfection, and he was quickly shipped to the first robotics organization in Manchester, New Hampshire. Norman was to be part of the first robotics competition, Recycle Rush. He ultimately arrived at the Bedford, Michigan district competition and was waiting in the pool noodle reserve when he was selected by Carter from the Riveters. Norman was hoping to be tossed into the landfill area of the game to collect two points. Carter launched Norman strong and true, but owing to Norman's camber, he twisted in midair and... Well, the Riveters lost the match, and Carter was sad. But because the Riveters were so gracious and professional, they cheered up Carter and adopted Norman. He came to reside above the ductwork in the Riveter shop, keeping a close eye out for safe operations of the machines. Then, in 2018, Norman became the center of attention when the Riveters found themselves a half-noodle shy for making their bumpers. Norman knew what he had to do. He sacrificed his body, which was cut in half to complete the blue bumpers for the robot. The team was very sad. They missed Norman and held a memorial service for him, including a 21 rivet salute. Thus, the sad ending of Norman the Noodle. But wait! When working with packaging expanded polystyrene, these foams are easily bonded to themselves and other substrates such as wood and corrugated paper boxes using standard EVA and APO hot melts. Through this process, Norman was bonded with a new tail, and he lives on. The moral of the story? Always go home in less than two pieces. <laughs>